Hi everyone, welcome back to e-commerce success by Ad360. Yesterday, I made the video to review the Shopify price action on the financial markets. We discussed the Q1 earnings and what's going on. And there's one piece of news which we uh, commented briefly, but we didn't really discuss in detail. And that's the acquisition by Shopify of Deliver for $2.1 billion. That's quite a massive transaction for Shopify. It's a very strategic move. Uh, and they're trying to become a powerhouse of logistics, especially become a, a leader for uh, independent sellers, small brands, uh, logistics. So let's see today in more detail what this entails, well, the, uh, you know, the reasons behind this acquisition, what's Shopify trying to do, and we'll discuss whether that's a, a response to Amazon, uh, because we had made a video a few days ago about the uh, new feature release by with Prime, which is also direct jab at Shopify. So there's a big battle going on at the moment between uh, Shopify and Amazon. Of course, Amazon is a much bigger brand, but uh, Amazon is trying to go after Shopify's uh, customers and the small independent sellers. And so Shopify is fighting back today with this announcement. So it's super exciting to watch and we're going to discuss, you know, where this thing is going. If you enjoy this content and this channel, please subscribe comment below, like the video, all these actions are helping us grow the channel and make it more visible. This video is brought to you by Ad360. Ad360 is the easiest way to increase your online sales and you can start advertising by clicking on one button and you can start you know, showing your product, promoting your product on top websites, news sites, blogs, mobile apps, all over the web with display banners, video, native ads, um, and you can start bringing more qualified visitors and buyers to your store. If you want to learn more, there's a link in the description. You can either book a demo or you can directly download the ad. There's a 14 day free trial on Shopify at the moment. Okay, let's go into the content of the day. So we're going to review the press release and the link will be in the description. So holy ship, uh, as I say, Shopify to acquire Deliver for $2.1 billion. So that's quite a big sum to uh, give you some perspective. Shopify has around $7 billion in cash at the moment. So that's the war chest. So it's quite a significant amount. Uh, two out of seven billion is, um, you know, is, a, is, a, is really a, a massive proportion. Now, I, I'm not sure if they're paying cash or there's a, uh, stock uh, exchange or another form of uh, payment method, so I'm not so sure about that. But um, but you know, comparing that to the cash position gives you an idea of whether that's a significant purchase or not for Shopify, and I think it is. Um, and indeed, it's the largest acquisition in Shopify's history. So their purpose is to create an end-to-end -end logistics platform and uh, to unlock fast and easy fulfillment for millions of merchants. So what's fulfillment? It's all things uh around um tackling product packaging product tagging preparing uh, orders shipping handling returns handling all the you know the shipping uh process to customers delivery process so there's a ton of stuff around this and it's super critical for shopify to get this right because for a few reasons first amazon is a, is a much bigger company than Shopify. And they've been known for many years to be a logistics first company. Amazon really became a huge giant thanks to logistics and how they managed supply chain super efficiently. And you know, with that next day delivery with Prime, it's really you know, super well known for that. And uh, very recently, Amazon released the buy with Prime feature, which is a direct attack on Shopify to uh, allow people even outside of the Amazon marketplace, allow people to put on their website a buy with Prime button so that people can buy and benefit from the same Amazon Prime membership benefits, even if they're not buying on Amazon, but on an independent website. And so now Shopify is fighting back. So then their goal is to, you know, become, I think, a leader in the um, logistics for independent brands. And, you know, they say merchants of all sizes. So you see Shopify is really a positioning on independent businesses, small businesses uh, that today may not be on Amazon. Um, and they want to give them the same kind of uh, service and easy to use end-to-end -end solutions for 
logistics and for supply chain. Let's look a bit at Deliver. So this is the company they acquired. So what's interesting to me is uh, Deliver does not only work for the Shopify platform, but also uh, for Walmart and uh, Google, eBay, Instagram, Facebook, Wish. So it's connected to a bunch of environments. And this also plays uh, for me a, uh, a part in the acquisition because we discussed in the past in, in previous videos how Shopify is going to increasingly uh, work together with social media platforms and how social commerce is the next big thing. So the fact that Deliver is already working on, on some of these platforms, for me, it's no, um, it's, you know, not a random, uh, not a random thing. It's actually a key part of, of the, um, of the interest Shopify sees, uh, with them, I think. And so what's Deliver? So there, you know, uh, handle everything for you with a, a flat fee depending on your product uh, size and uh, and weight and so you have a, a, a fixed price that handles everything from receiving the product the inventory you know storing this in their warehouse and then picking and packing it when people order it uh, handling the order and the shipping and everything so and of course I, I guess even the returns and uh, um, customers wanting to know where the shipment is at and they have this um, free two-day delivery that's a big thing where they can guarantee that products are going to be delivered uh, two days after the purchase which is great it's not as good as, as the next day delivery for uh, Amazon Prime users but it's already very good if you have guaranteed a two days delivery that's fantastic and actually even in some cases they allow for next day delivery. So that's super cool. Google, Shopify, and Facebook ads. So that's super interesting. So Shopify acquired this company. And what's uh, interesting to me is that they want to integrate this closer with the existing Shopify fulfillment network uh, and their other uh, logistics uh, efforts. For example, they're talking about, um, in the article, they're talking about their previous uh, purchase, the Six River system which is a warehouse automation technology. So that's something they had acquired, a company they had acquired in 2019, so two, year, two, two and a half years ago. And so uh, this company is like a robotic fleet for you know, a warehouse automation, robots taking everything. And you've seen, uh, you've all seen the videos of you know, Amazon Robotics where they have you know, these mechanical arms taking product, putting them on you know, the chain and stuff like that and moving carts. And so I think it's going, it's a similar company to that. So it's really interesting to see Shopify trying to compete with Amazon on, on, on really the logistics, which is really Amazon's strong suit. And you, you see they're saying um, Shopify fulfillment network, six river systems, so the automation uh, and robotics and deliver will collectively form a broader logistics unit within Shopify. So that's super interesting to me. So they're, they're really creating a whole integrated uh, set of solutions and products and companies and trying to become um, you know a, a leader in that category they're saying they want not only to level the playing field for independent businesses but tilt it in their favor so that's quite interesting um, the other thing i wanted to mention is they used this opportunity to announce a new offer called shop promise and so shop promise I see that as a direct consequence of this acquisition and this integration of the deliver service into the existing you know, Shopify fulfillment network and the robotics. But now thanks to, I think the, you know, all the systems deliver has built to allow people to get, you know, the two day, uh, free two day and next day delivery on, on Shopify. I think they have built a ton of system with fast tags and stuff like that to manage this. And so Shopify is uh, tapping into this to release this new offer. Uh, it's still in, um, you know, in a, in waitlist, so it's not available to everybody. But it's quite interesting. I think Shop Promise, the best way to earn trust with billions of buyers. So you're committing to a certain uh, delivery date, so two-day delivery, free shipping, and um, and you know, it's uh, if I think if you know, you, you have the guarantee that Shopify is going to deliver on that. I'm, I'm not really sure what happens if they don't actually deliver. Perhaps they reimburse you or the user or that, that's kind of compensation both for the user and for yourself as a seller. 
but that's quite super interesting so i'm not so sure yet because it's not um it's not released yet but that sounds super interesting if shopify has the necessary logistics in place to guarantee to all sellers they're able to handle all the deliveries and make that a uh, set in stone two-day delivery i think it's super super interesting and i think that's something you want you know that's a value you want to pass on to your customers and you want to highlight on your website that's going to be a really key differentiator for a lot of businesses especially these days when you have a lot of drop dropshipping businesses that have sometimes one week two weeks three weeks uh, delivery delays um having i think being able to guarantee a, a two-day delivery is going to be a massive differentiating factor and something that's it's going to be more and more a requirement for you know users for buy so if you don't have something like that i think it's going to be harder and harder to to sell but super interesting so i think shopify is going in the right direction despite you know the um the crazy price action we discussed yesterday and the market reaction to their earnings i'm still bullish long term for shopify i think it's a great platform as i said yesterday full disclosure where you know i'm biased because we're with at360 we're a shopify partner but we're not only working with Shopify. The Ad360 service is available on a variety of different platforms. And even if you're working on your own, we have an independent web app. So we can work with any business selling products ser or services online. So we're not uh, reliant on Shopify for the life of our business. It's just a great ecosystem that, we, um, that we're proud to be part of. And so we have the Ad360 app in the Shopify app store. It's super easy. Being integrated with Shopify allows us to tap into all the product's data and automatically create banners and start advertising in the right places in just one click. So if you download the app in just one click, you can create quick ads and we automatically you know, get the product's images, titles, pricing. We create the banners, we create campaigns, awareness and retargeting, and we start running these in relevant websites and mobile apps where we're going to bring qualified visitors and buyers to your store. So that's super powerful. It's just one click and everything can be done in less than five minutes uh, if you install the app on the App Store. If you want to give it a try, uh, there's a 14 day free trial. So I encourage you to give it a try and, and see by yourself how easy and powerful it is to start advertising all over the web. So I wish to hear from you soon. If you have any questions, you can book a demo with the link below in the description. And uh, I'm uh, looking forward to chatting with you and helping you succeed, get a ton of sales and a ton of happy customers.